Servus. After taking a long break from YouTube, I finally decided to continue making videos. In the last year, my YouTube channel has quadrupled in size without me even releasing one single video. I would like to thank each and every one of you for supporting me by subscribing to my channel, liking my videos and leaving nice comments. The past year, I've been pretty busy with my freshman year at the Technical University of Munich. I have tried to achieve high academic results without sacrificing on my social life too much. That forced me to quit creating YouTube videos. And even my own consumption of content on the platform has decreased by a lot. But it also helped me to find a group of close friends. University has definitely changed my outlook on the world as I got to know people from all over the world. I even learned a bit of Spanish as well as Chinese. The best experience that I had in university regarding this channel was one of my viewers recognizing me even though I never revealed my face in any of my videos. If you are interested in all of my experience that I made at university and you want to find out about all the awesome students and professors that I got to know, please leave a comment down below. I'm considering making a video on that topic. But enough of that for now. I currently have about a month of summer break left. I want to use that time to release a couple of videos again. My head has been overflowing by all of those ideas that I gathered since I started this channel. There's just so much stuff that I'd like to teach you, that I simply don't have time for at all. So for now I'd like to present you the ideas that I think would be most interesting to you. I will then transform those ideas into videos. You can help me deciding between the ideas by leaving your feedback. So here's my very long list of video ideas. So the first topic would be Linux. So I would like to switch to Linux. Why is that? Because at university, students as well as professors told me to switch to Linux. I've been a Windows user for all of my life. Well, not exactly for all of my life. My father tried to install Linux once, but that left our computer very quickly. So I would like to try it out again. And I would like to include a video on how to get started gaming on Linux, as well as programming on Linux. And in the end, my final review on it. The second section would be interviews. So I'd like to interview Joe Brunier. Joe Brunier is a software engineer slash developer at SAP. And he did a really awesome video on his day in the life as a software developer at SAP. I'd also like to interview Alva Liu. She is a YouTube creator focusing on machine learning, but she also is a student here in Europe studying machine learning in Stockholm. Another person that I'd like to interview would be Carson Compton. He is a Canadian based uh, game developer and he will just start university this fall. Besides game, he also is into hardware and combining the two of those gets pretty interesting. And there's also Lindsay Scott, who is a um, Victoria's Secret model, but also a developer. So I would be very interested in interviewing her. Then there is the Brazilian YouTuber Guru Di Ciencer. He focuses on, as his name suggests, science videos. And then there's Yes or No, who is a former Harvard student. She just moved to Munich about a year ago. So I'd like to meet up and do an interview with her. And then there's Kath in college. Kath got me really interested in or really hyped about going into college. And she really presented college life at Stanford specifically as a very interesting part of your life. Therefore, I'd like to interview her. Then there's Tech Alter, who is a YouTuber that focuses on the managing or the financial side of technology, which I also find very interesting. Then there's Great Scott, who is a German YouTuber, but he does English videos on the topic of electrical engineering. And there are the real life guys. They do really crazy homebrew flying devices, aircraft, submarines. And that's incredibly interesting to watch and also entertaining. And then there are, of course, Miyuko, Jarvis, Tech Lead, and Joma. And those, of course, I guess every one of you knows them. I'd also like to interview TUM researchers and also students at the Technical University of Munich. So I could also do videos on web development. For example, I could create a simple web app that's used to download from multiple links or URLs at once. You would just mark all the links and then you could download them at once. Another idea which would require a more sophisticated PHP backend would be a library app. So I joined this student organization that has a internal library, but no one knows whether a book is really available or not. To help with that problem, we could create a library app. Then we have another web app. It would be a basketball tournament app. You could talk all your scores that you had in your basketball games and the tournament app would decide on the enemies that you have to fight in the future. Another idea would be to build a WordPress plugin, a plugin that enables you to have folders in your media subsection. So if you know any other CMSs, 
Most of them have a photo structure. Their media subsections, WordPress doesn't. And if you add a plugin to have photos, that's either very expensive or it's not that great. And I would like to create a free, but also great plugin for that purpose. Another section would be the classic computer science section, um, which includes topics that are more programming intense. For example, a iPhone to Android WhatsApp backup converger. So if you currently want to switch from iPhone to Android, you officially have to leave all of your chat history back on your old phone and start fresh. But I would like to create an app that lets you transfer your old chat histories to Android from iOS. Then there's the idea of creating a Python to PHP compilers. And currently Python is a very loved language and I also used it for an internship just a week ago. Even though I've never used it, I got used to it really quick and I really enjoyed coding in Python much more than I enjoy coding in PHP. So a compiler for that purpose would be, or transpiler, I guess you call them that, it would be very interesting. Another idea would be to create a app for Android or iOS for a language side that is not optimized for mobile phones. It's the Yellow Bridge, which is a Chinese dictionary. And since it's not optimized, I'd like to do that for them. And then there is the idea of optimizing an open video editor or simply helping with the development of that. And uh, for example, Cadian Live comes to mind, um, but there are also plenty of other interesting video editors I could imagine to help development with. And then there's Vulkan. I've used its predecessor, OpenGL, and it's actually what I used to start out this channel. I created C++ and OpenGL tutorials. I would like to continue that by creating Vulkan tutorials. Another section would be the hardware section. So I've had this idea to create a pen with motion sensors and also a wireless module to transfer the motion data back to my PC or my smartphone, then analyze that and recreate the handwriting. I guess that would be a very ambitious project, but the idea behind it is very interesting. And I could also present my high school paper. So in Germany, or at least in Bavaria, you have to create a high school paper for your final exam that's supposed to prepare you for your bachelor's or master's thesis. And my paper was on developing a quadcopter from scratch. So I could present that paper, but I also could iterate on that idea and add Wi-Fi or Bluetooth capability to my micro quadcopter, because currently it only supports some sort of proprietary non-standard wireless communication. Another idea would be to create a small device to track motion, especially for in school use, because they have to buy lab grade equipment but especially for motion tracking, you can't throw that lab equipment down on the ground or you can't do any extreme motions with that. So the idea would be to create a motion tracking device that maybe would be based on the SP32. Then there's the idea of creating FPGA tutorials for both Verilog and VHDL. The inspiration for that project came actually from university. I found FPGA programming very interesting and therefore I'd like to teach you that, or at least the fundamentals of it. And the last thing would be PCB production, because in my paper I had to create a lot of PCBs, both at home, but also from China, so I have a lot of experience in that, and I would also like to share that with you. Then there is the OS section. So I've bought OS X from Apple, then I put it onto my virtual box and upgraded that old version that I bought for 20 euros to the most recent version, and I would like to share that experience with you. And the other idea would be to make Ubuntu look like OS X or Windows. Then there is the devices section. So I've bought an eGPU from Aorus or Gigabyte and I've put a very old GPU into it and it still worked. So I guess sharing that would be very interesting. And the last thing would be I bought an XPS 15 last year and it gets moderately hot, but the idea would be to undervolt it and to reapply thermal paste and to see what increase in thermal performance we can get out of it. The last idea would be to create a separate YouTube channel because I would like to do interviews and topics that are more focused on university and career. And I don't know whether those fit the more tutorial oriented style of this current channel. So leave me some feedback on that topic below. As I already mentioned, these are just some of the ideas that I had in the past. I will definitely not have enough time to create a video on every single one of them. But if you have any other suggestions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. So here are my goals for the next year on YouTube. I would like to reach a thousand subscribers. I would love to build up my Twitter page, which has been unused basically all this time. And I would like to communicate with my audience more. So I've used comments extensively in the past, but I would love to add Slack, Skype, or even live streams to that. The next video will be about switching from Windows to Linux for one month. If you would like to see that video, please subscribe to this channel to help me reach 1000 subscribers. So 